You cannot participate in a choices curriculum without critical thinking. I think it's kind of like the difference between a teacher who just talks all the time and a teacher who gets his class engaged because it puts you in that position to actually have to go up to the center and argue it or puts you in that position of being that person who's going through it in a different country. And that's what makes it better than just reading it out of a textbook. The Choices Program provides a bridge between the university and the high school classroom. Our focus is to empower young people with the skills and the knowledge to wrestle with international issues. We want to make available for teachers and students the kinds of issues that are really important in, in the world today, things that people talk about all the time. So for example, questions of terrorism, questions of war, questions of genocide. You can read a history book, you do the same thing over and over about the Civil War and the slavery, a world war, but you really don't make connection to like the modern world. And by us doing this, people actually kind of connect like the current events with past events. I think there's a reluctance on the part of teachers to take on what we perceive to be very common controversial, very highly charged political topics. How do we do this without injecting our own bias? And I think that Choices provides a vehicle. You're not just copying down notes or reading, you're actually experiencing being on a committee and putting yourself into that position. You know, a lot of people don't know what goes on the Senate committee. A lot of people don't know what, who, who the senator is or what is the senator, sad to say, so by us actually learning this stuff, you actually could understand better what's going on internationally around the world. Really, it allows them to be like little politicians almost, or future policy makers. This is the frontier for the new Americans of the next generation. It doesn't matter what job you're going to have. One of your jobs is to be a citizen and to vote. And in order to do that, you need to really have a sense of the world and how we are perceived in the world. The success of my classroom depends on being able to grab resources that another group has thoughtfully put together and bring them into my vision of what I'm teaching. Because if I have to go and find all the readings, if I have to come up with a format for the simulation, if I have to come up with the options, I couldn't do it. It's access to things that we don't have access to. It's primary documents that are current. They were published within the last six months. With the Choices Curriculum, we're requiring kids to consider issues from multiple perspectives, which is such a critical skill for citizens to have, to be able to listen to a perspective that they don't initially agree with. It's good to get those type of options that you don't agree with and be able to argue them because that means that you're able to be insightful and look at someone else's opinion. And even though it's not your own, you make it your own. When students understand that history was contested, that things don't just happen, that people have a voice, it might change how they think about the present, that there are things that are worth arguing for, there are things that are worth discussing, and that they can make a difference.